released in 1983 for the Atari 2600, right in the middle of the great video game crash, we have Scuba Diver by a little company called Panda. This game is quite unusual, it's extremely rare, and as you can see, it only has an end label. It does not actually have a uh, front-facing cartridge label, just an end label. This is the manual for Scuba Diver, which is equally as rare. In fact, it could actually be rarer than the game itself. As you can see, it's very poor quality, uh, single uh, odd-shaped piece of paper um, printed on both sides. Let's pop it in the old 2600 and check it out. All right, the first thing I noticed about this game is, uh, aside from its extreme rarity, is that it's actually a good game. And not many rare games that command a lot of money are actually good games. They're just expensive because of their rarity. But this game is actually challenging and fun to play. Now, the way the game works is quite simple. You control the scuba diver. You start off in a boat, and you can actually move around side to side and pick where you want to jump out of the boat from. And when you want to jump out of the boat, you just press the button on the Atari 2600 controller. Now, the trick is that once you jump into the water, you have no control of your descent. You just drop straight down to a predetermined point. So you have to time your jump perfectly to not get eaten by a fish. Now, once you hit that predetermined point in the water, you, you can freely swim about and you can use the Atari 2600 joystick controller button to fire your harpoon and kill the fish. But if you miss, you have to wait till your harpoon travels across the screen before you can move again. So this game is actually very fun, very addictive, and very challenging. It's such a shame that it's actually such a rare game that most of us won't ever come across a copy in our lives. But if you'd like to purchase this copy, you can pick it up at my online video game store. Link in the description box. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.